Uh, so what are you scared of? Snakes, spiders, maybe clowns? In this day and age, whatever it is, one thing that shouldn't scare you this Halloween or ever yeah. is retirement. <laughs> Omaha's retirement strategist returns. Daryl Bryant, he is the uh, one of Omaha's premier financial uh, advisors and the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies. Yeah, he also hosts Retirement Strategies radio show right along 1110 KFAB right here in Omaha Saturdays <laughs> at 8 a.m. And Daryl is here this morning. Good to see you, Daryl. Hey, Chewy. Daryl. Chewy, yeah. Good Look to see you. You. you guys think it's Daryl Bryant? Four, yes, Darryl I'm, Bryant? The, I'm the rock star today. I don't you play the great. guitar, but do I look like I might? <laughs> no, you, you look, look legitimate. Yeah, so did you have some fun dressing up today, embracing the holiday? You know, I was going to go further with this, but uh -huh. I, I, I was going to go the full <laughs> wig, and I thought, you know what? I'll start sweating on television. That'd be a bad thing. That's, so. Which is our concern for Mike by the end of the hour under all these lights. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm classic rocker guy. You look great. You look you look look that great. guitar is signed by somebody. This is Peter Frampton right here. Uh, speaking oh, of classic rock that's guys. That's so cool. It doesn't yeah. get any bigger. Yeah, it really doesn't. Uh, yeah. We do we, we do a, uh, for any listeners out there of our radio show, mm -hmm. they know we do a um, classic rock trivia segment every week. And whenever I do a, a uh, an interview and have people on the show, uh -huh. uh, Doobie Brothers, Peter Frampton, Cheap Trick, um, Martina McBride, Brad Paisley, etc., have been on the show, and I always get a guitar uh -huh. out of the deal. So it's wonderful. That's so so I, don't, cool. I don't know how to play them. We have actually pictures of you <laughs> meeting some of these people. Because if we say what inspired your costume today, That's it. I think I can look at these pictures and understand your um, your love for all things it's music. It's a wonderful thing. There's Cheap yeah. Trick right there. That was that was the week that they were doing uh, the. Uh, uh, inducted in the Hall of Fame. There's Peter oh, Frampton right uh -huh. there. The interview. Yeah. Uh huh. What else we got? Oh, uh -oh. Comedy, right? Oops. Not yep, just that's music, that's not music. But sticking yep. sticking into comedy, <laughs> rubbing elbows with A-listers. Uh, that's a lead singer of Cheap Trick right there in the back hallway. Uh huh. There. And we've got a few more pictures here. You Mark said Kim. Martina McBride. What yes. a gracious woman. She is wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's the first interview I ever did. There's Carrie. Uh, there's Carrie. Carrie yeah. First name basis. Well, I say Carrie just make Carrie makes it sound Darryl like I might know her. And Jennifer. Jenny. Well, how'd you meet her? Don't call her Jenny. She'll say no. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> and then Keith Urban. Keith, yeah. yeah, this is so cool. Yeah. yeah. I heard you. You also sing. Well, you were singing with Sammy Hagar. Well, right? that's a question mark. But, you know, <laughs> you were with Sammy Hagar, yeah, right? interpretation. I was, you know, I, I was doing the Sammy Hagar interview, and I said, Sammy, you know, when we get done with this interview, let's go plug in because I want to sing a song with uh -huh. you, you know, just for the heck of it. He goes, let's just do it right now, and he grabs his 12 string what? right there, and I said, wait, 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 I'm not, I'm, I'm not warmed up, and I'll never be warmed up enough. Uh -huh. So anyway, he did it right there. On the we spot do, screen. we have I video. We video. I want to show this. Yeah, video. Our, we, yeah. Nice. Watch, watch this, this, this everybody. This will be plenty embarrassing. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> As it seems, when you get older, you see why I'm here. I don't know. I'll live my life and take it. Are you kidding me? How cool! Me? That's like a. Uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't believe I actually asked him to do and that. And you sound great. Oh, well. Thanks. Did you sing when you were younger? I did. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I still do a little singing. We have a we're a musical family. I have a, a drummer, Sam, uh, as my one of my sons has a wonderful uh, drummer. That is yeah, so, so neat, Daryl. Okay, so it. we've talked about costumes and music. Yes. Let's get to retirement because that's All really right. why you join okay. us each and every Monday. A lot of I mean, you you see this. A lot of people are spooked by retirement. Yeah. Um, what what do you think it is that causes that in what you see in the office? Well, there's a lot of anxiety people going into retirement. You know, it's a really really big deal, and uh, because you know that you're about to leave the workplace and it's kind of an irrevocable decision, isn't it? And then mm -hmm. you're afraid that you're going to run out of money. And so there's a lot of rhetoric going around about uh, you know uh, how to retire and how to do the math. Uh, I had a client in the other day, and she was just so scared to spend any money. We have this brand new software that we're so proud of that we showed her, listen, I'll call her Bobby. Bobby, we could reduce your returns. We have various accounts all set up for different time segments. We could re reduce your returns to zero, show an inflation adjusted income higher uh -huh. than what you asked for in the first place, uh -huh. and I can't get you to run out of money. Oh. Yeah. And finally, the blood, blood pressure starts to come yeah. down. And so there is a way to do the math. It's not the 4% rule. Uh, so if you're, if you're hearing that, oh, you, you know, 4% of what you have, you'll be mm -hmm. fine. You know, if you don't know what that is, you should know. And don't let an advisor tell you that the 4% rule still works. But really reducing that fear factor is one of your main objectives. Mm -hmm. Well, it is. And the only way, you know, what overcomes fear, uh, Chew Chewy, is, um, uh, can I call you Chewy? Chewy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you shoot yeah, it. Well, of course. <laughs> uh, what overcomes the fear is what? Knowledge is being prepared yeah. and knowing where you are in relationship to a successful retirement. And if we can get 
the, the stress reduced. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. It, the most enjoyable part of my job mm -hmm. is to s c have people come in a little on the stress side, say, here's our stuff, now what do we do? Mm -hmm. We're not pension managers, you know, we don't yeah. have much of a pension, so what are we supposed to do with our life's work to make sure we're never going to run out of money? That's a big deal, and we'll do the math for you. It's all about confidence, and Daryl is offering up a free book about retirement to the first 25 people who call right now. The book is called Stress-Free Retirement, and it's by author Patrick Kelly. I know you've spoken highly about him. Yes, wonderful. Uh, the number to call, it's 402-932-2141, but it's limited to the first 25 people, so call soon. And if you have any questions for Daryl, he's so generous to offer this up, uh, you can email him, questions at omahasretirementstrategist.com, and it may be something to where if you've got the question, other people watching do too, and we mm -hmm. could even use that on the air. Well, yeah. you, you feel Always good to know people play, asking about me. You feel comfortable playing a little something for us right yeah, now? Yeah, I could play no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. no. Next time. <laughs> I, I Next am time. impressed with you singing with Sammy, though. That is really cool. Uh, it was a, quite a treat. You know, it's something I'll always remember. Incredible no doubt about memories. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. really very, very, uh, very blessed to have been able to do that. Well, thank you for coming today, and, and thanks Halloween, for having some Darryl. fun, okay? Yeah. Thank you so Dress much. Yeah. Uh, guests of the Morning Blend start their day with coffee from Paris Gourmet. It's the official coffee of the Morning Blend. It's Halloween, so we are brewing up some pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. uh, delish. Learn more online at omahamorningblend.com. So the canola eating challenge, that's one of the, one, kind of one of our favorite traditions we enjoy around here, isn't it? Another without question, trick-or-treating. Look at all the kids here with us. We'll get a closer look at their costumes coming up next.